So I basically hate myself because I just filmed my entire crease and then I realized that I wasn't recording the entire time. So here I am starting over. My eye looks a little red, that's because I just had to wipe everything off. But, I'm gonna try again. So, first, I'm gonna take my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I'm gonna use this to prime my eyes and cover up any discoloration in my eyelid. And I'm just going to blend this out with my little Micro Beauty Blender. And now, taking the Morphe 35O palette and this, the lightest shade that they have in the palette right here, I'm just gonna use that to set my brow bone and my crease, not the lid. And the reason I'm not setting the lid is because we're going in with a ColourPop shadow and they apply best over kind of a sticky surface or not like a powdery or matte surface or anything like that, so that's why I didn't set the lid. Now, take two. First thing I'm going to be doing is taking my Morphe E22 brush and this nice peachy shade right here from the Morphe 35O palette and I am going to dust this into my crease very lightly and just slowly building the color up. And you want to keep going back in until the color builds up and keep putting it on and blending it out because you don't want to start with too much product at first otherwise it'll get kind of muddy on your eye and it won't blend out very well, so you want to do it very gradually. And I'm taking this color pretty far up to my brow bone because I want this look to be very blown out. Alright, once you've kind of got that color built up the way that you want, then I'm taking my Morphe M433 brush and this orange shade right here and just putting that into my crease as well and deepening it up a little bit. Just gonna layer those eyeshadows darker and darker as we go. Okay, next I'm taking my Morphe M514 brush, which got a little smashed while it was drying after I washed it, but it actually works out pretty nice because it fits right into that little crevice. So with that, I'm gonna take the shade up here, also from the Morphe 35O palette, and just using this to deepen up my crease even more. Okay, once we have that pretty dark, then I'm just gonna go back down into each shade that we've already used and just try to blend everything out. So I'm taking the second darkest shade that we've used and just blending out that dark one with it. And then with that very light peach shade that we used for our transition shade, blending again. Okay, so now that we have those colors down, we can go in with the lid shade, and this is Coconut by ColourPop. It's a beautiful blue shade. And I'm just going to be packing this on the lid. And it does look very odd right now, but we will blend it out and blend it into those orange shades so that it doesn't look so strange. So first I'm going to go back in with that little M514 brush and that darkest orange shade that we've used and I'm going to start blending that orange shade out with this just because this brush is so flexible and it helps to kind of move that shadow around. I'm taking my Morphe E18 brush, it's just a little like pencil smudge type brush and I'm going to be taking the shade right here from the 35O palette, and I'm gonna be putting this in between that blue shade and the orange shade, so right in that crease area to help blend everything together. I'm also gonna pack this on the outer corner to blend everything together over here also. 
I hate how deep my voice is. I feel like I sound so raspy. I sound like a man. So as you can see, that blended it all together so much better than just that one shade. The one shade was just to kind of start it out, start the process. So then I'm gonna go back in with that really dark, bright orange shade and just blend that like brownish shade out. It's all about blending and blending and blending and blending. And then back in with all those other colors like we did before. I'm blending everything one last time. See, stop recording again. You just never know when it's gonna stop. Pretty sure last time though, I just didn't press record at all. I don't know why. I was just ready for it and I just didn't think. I don't know. So now I'm gonna be taking my Inglot gel liner in 77, which is just a black gel liner. And I'm just going to be putting this on my waterline. And I'm gonna to try to kind of drag it down onto the lash line as well. It doesn't matter if it's messy or not because we're going to be going over it. So then just taking a flat brush like this, I'm just going to be dipping that into that brown shade that we used in the crease and just packing this on that lower lash line and bringing that black eyeliner down and blending it out. And I'm also going to be setting my waterline with that brown shade as well. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take this brush like this and take that that we use, this one right here, and just putting this on my lower lash line, just blending it down. And then just taking my E18 brush and that light peach shade that we used, I'm just gonna blend all of this down here and connect it to this outer corner. Next, I am going to highlight my brow bone in my inner corner. And for that, I'm just taking this second shade right here and highlighting my brow bone in inner corner. And now I'm just going to put a coat of mascara on my lashes and then just pop on my false eyelash real quick. Per usual, my Demi Wispies by Ardell. And I'll be back. Next, I'm taking my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and my Morphe M527 brush. And I'm just going to be bronzing up my face a little bit with this. It's a very light wash of color, but it does add a little bit of something, so I like that. Just on my cheeks right here. If you don't have this bronzer, you need it because it literally smells like paradise. All right, next I'm going to contour. And I'm going to be taking my Morphe M530 brush and my Benefit Hula Bronzer and just carving out my cheekbones a little bit more. For blush, I'm gonna be taking the Morphe, <coughs> Morphe 9N palette. Just this pretty blush palette right here. And let's see. Hmm. I'm gonna take this shade right here and I'm going to Put that all over my cheekbones with my Morphe E4 brush. Clean up my contour, I'm just taking my little micro beauty blender again and my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder, which I don't know where it went. And I'm just going to be baking underneath my contour just to sharpen it up a little bit. Definitely not necessary, but I'm gonna do it. Now 
I'm just going to dust that away with my G2 brush from Morphe. And as you can see, it just leaves a really sharp contour line. All right, now for highlighter, I'm going to take Champagne Pop from Becca Cosmetics and my Morphe M310 brush and just putting this on the tops of my cheekbones. And I'm also going to put this above my eyebrows up here. Put it down the bridge of my nose, tip of my nose. My Cupid's bow. A little on my chin, why not? And now I have to decide what lipstick I want to use. Okay, it took me like 10 minutes to choose my lip color, but I'm gonna go with ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in Chili Chili. So gonna put that on. No, just gonna put it on. I don't think I like this lipstick. It looks so much different in the freaking bottle. I think I'm gonna change it. Well, looks like I'm gonna be going with an oldie but a goodie. Goodie. An oldie but a goodie. And this is Kat Von D Lolita. So pray for me. Let's hope this one turns out better. I don't know if I'm really happy with this. Let me go look in the mirror. Hang on. Okay, so I went with Kat Von D Lolita. So much better. By the way, excuse my nail broke off, but um, yeah. So last thing I'm gonna do is spray my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And while it's still wet on my face, I'm gonna put a little bit more highlight on. Speedy, 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 speedy. Go fast. Just makes it a little bit more intense. Which obviously is not necessary. But I'm gonna do it. Okay. So. This is the final look. It was a little difficult filming this because I didn't record the first part. But, um, I know it's been a while. I've been super busy planning my wedding and stuff, so that's why there hasn't been a video up in like three weeks. But, now there's one up. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up for me and hit the subscribe button down below so that you can see when I post new videos. And also follow me on all my social media. I changed my Instagram name, so I'll put the new Instagram name below. Ow, my dog's scratching me. But yeah, so Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, I changed my Instagram. But all of that information will be in the description box below. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!